Most of you guys are aware, I think most of you who have been online have probably seen that Stranger Things Volume 4 has finally come to an end. They split it up in two parts, which I wasn't a fan of, to be completely honest, because I wanted to watch it all at once. But considering how heavy and how layered and how loaded and how um, diverse and how interesting and such a roller coaster this season was, I think split up into two parts was actually the best thing. It wasn't as overwhelming. And I really, really 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 enjoyed this show and i think the reason why i'm stressing why i really enjoyed it because i think there's so much crap out there online right now there's so many terrible shows i was actually talking to someone about it the other day about kenobi the star wars um series was absolute trash it didn't even focus on kenobi too much um the characters were stupid um princess leia character made absolutely no sense because it felt like the character they writ was way older than the character they actually cast like you got this like nine-year-old girl running away from like grown adults in the forest like it's just ridiculous ridiculous series all around like poorly written um poorly put together everything about it was terrible but it's meant to be their kind of flagship series that they're meant to kind of fly home with right and then Stranger Things had a similar kind of trajectory, I feel like. Like, the first season was really good. Then it kind of lost its way from season two to season three. Yeah, season two to season three lost its way. And then I feel like it picked it back up again on season four, which is really, in my opinion, um, not normal. Most of the time, when a series starts to go to shit, it rarely if ever turns it around. It just kind of is what it is. And you have to accept as a... Or you have to come to the decision as a viewer... Am I going to accept the show as it is and just enjoy it for what it is because I'm already invested in it? Or do I bail now and just hold on to the memories? And I think of the same thing like um, Game of Thrones. When Game of Thrones started to go really badly and people on like um, the Game of Thrones subreddits were saying, hey, this show is really shit and people were shouting at them and then they started that other subreddit, I forgot the name of it, that was, a brilliant, that was always full of memes and shit and people were looking at them like they were weirdos, no, the show's good, the show's good and by the time we got to the end, we all agreed with what they said originally that the show was going to shit and it couldn't turn it around. So the fact that Stranger Things have somehow realised the what they call the Duffo, the Duffy brothers somehow realised and were able to turn this ship around has been magnificent. Some people would say it's because of the the villain in the series, Vecna, um, who's obviously one. I don't think that's actually the case, but some people do say because it's a humanised villain, um, somebody you can kind of um, somebody yeah somebody you can humanise and somebody you can kind of root against. And some and somebody you can band it, you can band behind in terms of the kids, in terms of bringing them down. That's one of the factors of it. But I don't think that's the case because I think if anything, this series or this season has basically showed us that maybe Stranger Things. One of the slight things that they don't do well at is they don't kill enough characters off. There's too many people on the cast, right? But somehow. I also think it's a strength because they're able to tell so many interesting stories of each person without you getting lost, without it always, without, you know, sometimes on a TV series, if there's loads of characters, there's always loads of unnecessary flashbacks. Oh, this is what they did when they were 10. This is what they did when they were 12. Uh, this is why they did this. Or the, just to explain why they're at this current situation or this current point in the story. But with Stranger Things, they do a really good... Um, they're really good at kind of highlighting and making a snapshot of each character, but it adding to the overall story and just keeping it moving. It doesn't kind of linger. It doesn't, you know what I mean? It just, it kind of just keeps it moving. Steady, steady pace. And I think if anything, this series was a good example of it because it was chock full of characters, but they still told interesting stories. You are still invested for them in them. You are still rooting for them and you still wanted to see them win. And if anything, for me personally, it, I didn't find anyone annoying. Like in the first, second or third season, I found Winona Ryder's character, the mum, annoying. That whole bipolar twitchy thing was pissing me off. I found Eleven annoying. I found all the kids annoying, especially the guy, I forgot his name, but all the, the kind of the fat kid. I, f I found all of them annoying, right? Like really annoying. And I couldn't actually watch it for a brief period of time. But somehow they turned it around and season four was absolute barnstorm. And I think... This season coming up, season five, I guess, or volume five, will, might end up being the best, especially when it comes to the all-out war that's going to be waged on the Hawkins, it looks like, because, you know, that's where basically the drama, or that's where basically the beef is kind of being brought to. But overall, what a fantastic series. Like, i got nothing but good things to say about it, especially nowadays since there's so much crap out there on TV or online. It feels like no one really makes any good TV anymore. Um, everything is loaded with identity politics, with um tokenism with whatever nonsense no one is, wants to tell good stories everyone wants to pu push a political agenda and it just gets boring really quickly which is probably the reason why stuff like um 
Squid Games and stuff was so good and was so well received because it was an original premise and it was something that didn't kind of pander and didn't try to appease a certain group. It just tried to tell a cool and interesting story and people kind of rallied behind it. And I hope we do this, we, and I hope season four of Stranger Things is an indication to other um, production companies, other writers out there, other investors out there, that people are dying for good series to watch. They don't care about messages. They don't care about all that nonsense. They want something that they can root for, something that can take them out um, take them away from their daily um, struggles and daily hassles and stuff something they can unplug from and just watch as pure unbridled entertainment and this we got in spades so if you haven't watched it already i definitely recommend <clears throat> that you check out stranger things season four apologies for the little uh, home there <laughs>